And it is 1022 right now. We're going to jump into commodities. We're going to look at crude oil, talk about a market with some volatility recently. We're going to see $60 oil, man. $160 oil. We've been close. It almost hit it yesterday. It did. We'll before. back it up again. No, yeah, you were it, right? Uh, no, it's Tuesday. We were wow. up to 58.75. I mean, talk about within almost a dollar and a dollar in oil. We then we go from 10.45 yesterday morning, about 24 hours ago, and you drop more than a buck fifty by the time 2.30 rolls around. Yeah. And then we're back up to above 58. So you got oil trading 57.65. We're looking at the October contract. Again, we're coming into those 10.30 EIA numbers. Let's take a quick look at 11 a.m. What kind of volatility we're going to have priced into these options. So we're going to have 57.25 or $58 is our ability at 11 a.m. Kind of equidistant away from those. We're right. looking at about 30 to 35 cents away. Now, again, if you're just looking directionally, that's where it's actually a nice sweet spot because you're not paying a ton of premium. Let's just say you're bullish. And we've got a lot of movement in that market. Definitely. You know, and this is where you're, you're only eight pennies away from market. Now seven pennies away from market. You're buying a 57.73. And you're basically getting a two to one risk reward where your, your losses are capped at 57.25. You have a, almost a full dollar to the upside. And for that risk reward, that's where you just have to make, you know, decide for yourself. You're buying it at 57.75. The real market's at 57.68. You're yeah. buying it at seven pennies above the market. Right. Not a bad trade with the earnings about to come, though, in my opinion. And the same thing would set up on the other side, which is not bad. But let's see where we line up on the noons. Okay, noons are going to have 57.75. That's a lot closer, right? That's about seven, eight pennies. So there would be your bullish spread. Now, this is where, again, the last trade we looked at was only about seven pennies away from the market, right? This is why, now, the risk reward is going to be a staggering more like five to one, six to one. But, but by doing that, you're also paying 30 cents above premium. And that's where it really okay. gets tough, right? The right. last trade, much closer to a futures trade. You're only paying seven pennies above market exactly. for a two to one. You want to be risking 20 to make 130? Well, you're going to be paying 30 cents or so forth above the market, right? Because that's how they correlate. So here's your bullish. And as we're saying, it, it's ticking up right to that 57.75, which would be nice because then would have no intrinsic value on either side, would just be paying premium. And it's going to be a little pricey, as you might expect, right? So we're at 57.72, call it. The bullish spread costing us 23. The bearish spread, which is the one with about four pennies of intrinsic value, 27, 50 bucks on the dot. So you would need 50 cents of movement away from 57.75, which is almost where we're at right now. Right. In either direction. That's yes. the key part, right? You get 50 cents of movement in either direction, you break even, but 50 cents, you know, that's a little movement for both it sides. It's in as of next By sense. noon, too. By noon, so correct. They, and just before, I just wanted to see the 230s as if they line up at all. So 58 would be our only option um, for the dailies, which is about 30 cents or more. And so we're dealing with October. <coughs> oh, so this is interesting. Look at this. I mean, you got up there with volume yesterday, you know, 760, 755,000. We shot yeah. up there, and then, like I said, by 2.30, you were back down to 57 and change. Yeah. So, you know, most times what, what tends to happen here is that, oh, well, look at them. Then, oh, yeah, another one bites the dust. That's, well, you so, know what that was, right? Yeah, that's what's when Bolton bit the dust. Exactly. exactly. Yeah. So what I'm talking about, folks, is when, 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 just gonna zoom when in, he right, bit yeah. the dust there, you, you, what you had is that you had oil shot down from a 58.41 down to 57.30. A buck ten in no time. And, and there's volume the market, down there. Yeah. And then it was interesting, though, by the end of the day, look at that 4.30. Oh, yeah. The market said, you know what, man? Bolton wasn't probably the one <laughs> that we should be afraid of in terms of foreign policy, if that's really what you're worried about in terms of, yeah. you know, the president, he decides a lot, as any president does. But All right. So. Yeah, so, you know what, I'd, I'd go that the others can get tested again. It, it, it did get tested. It, it came down there in the middle of, uh, no, no, that's 240. It came down at 240. Yeah, I'd still go that we're going to kind of go a little lower. We'll see where this shakes out. Okay, we get those okay. numbers. 877-927-6648. We have the Dow Industrials right now up 34, NASDAQ up 43, S&P's up 8. Stay right there, folks. Tommy and I come right back. Welcome back, folks. Uh, 6.91 drawdown we in the uh, crude uh, gasoline, 682,000 barrels. And they were looking for... Uh, 
Well, Bloomberg is looking for 5.15, but yesterday uh, that API, uh, that number was big, right? Well, that was number yeah, in the seven, seven plus million. So we get the EIA numbers, 10:30 a.m. Eastern time on Wednesdays. Crude oil inventories falling 6.91 million barrels. To see how that hits the market, jumping back to the charts, and as you would expect, little pop. We were trading at 57.75, coming into that number, right? We're up about 13 pennies, but look at that volatility. We actually spiked to 57.42. It's a five-minute bar there. And uh, looking at both of these contracts, your value would be on the bullish side, of course, now. And that's where you can see you're actually only 25. You need more movement, right? We were yes. looking for 50 we're cents 50, for break right. even on both sides. Right. So you're talking about 57.75. If you were trading this, you needed up to 58.25. But that number, man, declined, falling 6.91 million barrels. And like you said, gas inventory is falling as well, 682,000. And the Bloomberg user survey, they were looking for a stockpile decline of just 5.15. But if you back things up, the um, survey number was only a decline of about 3 million. And uh, scrolling through this quickly to get to that API, as you talked about, 7.23 falling last night for the API. So maybe maybe we're using some oil, man, after that summer break. Yeah. Right. Uh, they're not pumping enough of it. That's well, right. They, they, One or the other. Yeah. One or exactly. the other. Exactly. Yeah. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow's uh, up 31. Nasdaq's up 43. S&P's up 8.5. Let's look at that oil contract. Yeah, we little got bit a little of volatility, action. man, jumping over. And, look, man, you wait a moment. That is a shocker. Look at that. So we were sitting at 57.75 yeah. almost. When we came into that number, we saw the initial spike. We saw a drawdown of more than the market was looking for. And, man, it doesn't matter. Oil trading lower. 57.37 right now in the price of that October crude oil. That's... That says a lot. It sure does, That man. says a lot. No two ways about that. We'll see whether that high volume low is going to get hit.